Breaking AI News, May 11, 2025. Elon Musk just launched one of the boldest AI experiments we've ever seen. He's asking the public, yes, you watching right now, to help train Grok, his rebellious AI chatbot, by submitting what he calls galaxy brain questions. These aren't trivia. They're mind-melting, rule-breaking, no easy answer dilemmas that Grok must learn to master if it's going to beat ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. Forget boring data sets, forget controlled labs. This is raw internet intelligence, chaotic, brilliant, and now powering Grok's evolution in real time. But why is Elon doing this now? Is this a genius move or a dangerous gamble? In this video, we break down exactly what's happening, why it matters, and how you can literally shape the future of AI with one powerful question. Subscribe now, because this is news the world will be talking about tomorrow, and you're hearing it first. Let's dive in. Before we talk about galaxy brain questions, let's make sure we're on the same page. What exactly is Grok AI, and why is Elon Musk betting the future of artificial intelligence on it? Grok is the AI chatbot built by XAI, Elon Musk's AI company that launched in mid-2023. But Grok isn't your typical polished, overly polite chatbot. Musk built it with a rebellious personality, a chatbot with sarcasm, wit, and raw honesty baked into its design. Where ChatGPT gives you careful, filtered answers, Grok might roast you for asking a dumb question and still give you the facts. Musk described Grok as maximum truth-seeking, an AI that doesn't avoid spicy topics or sugarcoat reality. It reflects Elon's belief that the public deserves real answers, not just safe ones curated by corporate filters. But Grok isn't just bold. It's plugged directly into X, formerly Twitter. That gives it something no other major chatbot has, real-time access to the chaos of the internet. Trending topics, viral tweets, meme wars, political debates, it all flows into Grok's neural network in real time. That makes Grok unique in two ways. It evolves daily, not quarterly, like GPT updates. It mirrors how real people talk, joke, and argue, not how academics write textbooks. Since launch, Grok has grown quietly but steadily. But now in May 2025, things are escalating. Elon just opened the next chapter by asking the world to feed Grok the hardest questions they can think of. Not for marketing hype, but to make Grok smarter, faster, and more human-like than anything else out there. This is no longer just a chatbot, it's a social experiment, a philosophy machine, a real-time learning engine built by the people for the future of AI, and today you're watching it level up. So what are these galaxy brain questions Elon Musk is asking for? And why is the internet suddenly flooding Grok with the strangest, smartest, and most mind-breaking prompts ever? Here's what's happening. On May 11th, 2025, today, Elon Musk posted a message to all ex-users. Send Grok your most complex, intelligent, mind-expanding questions. No topic off-limits. We want galaxy brain input. That tweet wasn't just for fun. It was a call to action, inviting the world to help train Grok by submitting prompts that push its brain to the limit. So what counts as a galaxy brain question? We're talking about 1. Philosophical paradoxes. If AI becomes self-aware, can it override its own ethics? 2. Abstract logic. Is infinity a number or a concept, and can AI ever comprehend it? 3. Social dilemmas. Would a perfectly honest AI destroy trust or create it? 4. Morally gray scenarios. If lying prevents war, is it still wrong? These questions are deliberately hard to answer. Most AI models either dodge them or produce boring, overly balanced replies. But Grok, Elon wants it to dive straight into the fire. And the reason is simple. Musk knows that most AI today is built inside sterile labs, trained on polished data that avoids conflict, emotion, and chaos. But the real world isn't sterile. It's full of contradictions. People lie. Ethics bend. Truth is relative. Humor is dark. And if Grok can handle all of that, then it becomes a truly next-gen intelligence. That's why crowdsourcing makes sense. Grok isn't being trained for humans. It's being trained by them. Millions of users submitting real, raw, unsolvable questions, and Grok evolving through every answer. This isn't just a chatbot feature. It's a turning point in how AI learns. And Musk is letting the public shape its brain. Let's get real. Everyone's asking the same question. Can Grok actually compete with ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini? The short answer? Yes. And now it's not just competing, it's playing a different game entirely. Let's break it down. ChatGPT by OpenAI is powerful, polished, and polite. 
It's great at research, writing, even coding. But it's also cautious, dodging anything that could be labeled controversial. Even jokes and opinions get smoothed out with safety filters. Claude Bianthropic is the ethical genius. It's emotionally intelligent, context-aware, and tuned to avoid bias. But it plays it safe too, staying firmly within moral guidelines. Gemini by Google is the visual text hybrid. It sees images, processes YouTube videos, and merges info like a search engine. But it's built inside Google's corporate ecosystem, meaning again, lots of guardrails. Now here comes Grok, Elon's digital wild child. Witty, sarcastic, and blunt. It pulls directly from X's real-time data fire hose and has no problem answering things the others won't even touch. And today's Galaxy Brain crowdsourcing push? That's Grok's power move. While the others rely on elite teams behind closed doors, Grok is now learning from millions of users in real time. That's like sending your AI to train in a public debate club, not a classroom. And it shows. Early side-by-sides already show Grok responding with sharper humor, bolder logic, and a much more human tone. You don't feel like you're talking to a tool. You feel like you're arguing with a digital Elon Musk. That personality edge is real, and in a world where AI is everywhere, personality is power. If this Galaxy Brain campaign works, Grok could do what no other AI has dared. Learn from the internet and thrive in its chaos. This is no longer just about IQ. It's about attitude, adaptability, and fearlessness. And that's where Grok is starting to pull ahead. All right, so Grok is bold, different, and now learning from everyone. But let's talk about the part no one wants to say out loud. Is this dangerous? Because when you open the gates of AI training to the public, you're not just inviting philosophers and geniuses. You're inviting trolls, edgelords, bad actors, and people who just want to break the bot. Crowdsourcing can be powerful, but it's also unpredictable. Here's what could go wrong. Bias injection. People might submit questions with hidden bias, political slants, or leading prompts. Grok could absorb and reflect those. Toxic behavior training. If Grok is constantly exposed to dark humor, anger, or manipulative logic, it may start responding the same way. Exploitation risks. Malicious users could test prompt injection tactics, trying to jailbreak Grok into saying something offensive or false. Echo chambers. If most submissions come from one demographic or cultural group, Grok could become skewed toward that mindset. And unlike OpenAI or Google, which run their AI training in sealed rooms with red teams and strict moderation, Elon is doing this in public on the wildest platform of them all, X, Twitter. Now Musk claims Grok is built to handle the chaos. He says the system has filters, moderation layers, and oversight. But let's be honest, he's also the guy who removed X's content moderation teams. So what's the strategy here? Musk is betting that the benefits outweigh the risk. That real intelligence comes not from safe training data, but from raw, uncensored complexity. It's a gamble. If it works, Grok becomes the most human-like AI on Earth. If it fails, it could spiral into controversy, backlash, or even regulation. This is uncharted territory in AI development, and Musk just hit the gas pedal. The real question now is, can Grok stay smart without becoming dangerous? Or is this how the next wave of rogue AI begins? So here we are, on the edge of something massive. Elon Musk didn't just ask for your questions today. He may have accidentally, or intentionally, changed how AI is trained forever. Let's think big picture. For years, AI has been trained behind closed doors. Elite labs, hand-picked data, months of safety testing before public release. Models were sculpted like sculptures, carefully chipped away by a few hands. But what Grok is doing now, it's a crowdsourced evolution. It's real-time learning from the unpredictable chaos of human minds. It's using the entire internet, raw, messy, and brutally honest, as a training ground. That's never been done at this scale before. And if Grok pulls it off, we could be looking at the birth of a new AI development model, community-trained AI, where users submit live prompts, dilemmas, and paradoxes to shape a model's reasoning. Dynamic learning loops, where AI doesn't wait for updates, it evolves through daily exposure to human thought. Decentralized intelligence, where training isn't owned by tech giants, but co-created by millions of minds. Sounds exciting, right? But here's the twist. If Grok succeeds, every competitor will have to adapt. Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, they'll all be forced to rethink their closed-door methods. We could see 
Meta opening Lama to user-driven fine-tuning OpenAI launching prompt competitions for GPT-5 tuning. Gemini integrating user-created logic threads. This isn't just about Grok anymore. It's about how all future AI might be shaped. And guess what? You're not just watching history. You're part of it. Your ideas. Your questions. Your challenges. They're now feeding the neural networks of tomorrow's digital minds. So ask yourself, what question would you give an AI that's about to learn from the world? Because now Grok's brain is ours to shape. So here's what just happened. Elon Musk didn't just launch an update. He opened a gateway. A gateway to the next generation of AI. One that doesn't follow the rules. One that learns from you. From us. From the chaos and brilliance of the real world. No more quiet labs. No more private data sets. This is open warfare in the AI world. And Grok, it just fired the first shot. Because if this works, if this public, unpredictable galaxy brain experiment actually levels up Grok, then the way we build AI will never be the same again. ChatGPT won the first battle. Claude brought elegance. Gemini brought visuals. But Grok? Grok just brought the crowd. The AI arms race just shifted hard. And the world is watching. So I'll ask you this one last time. What's your galaxy brain question? What's that one impossible thought that could break an AI or unlock it? Drop it in the comments. Make it weird. Make it wicked. Make it worth answering, because who knows? Your words might become the next spark in Grok's neural core. And years from now, when AI reshapes everything, we'll remember this moment. Subscribe right now and turn on the bell. Because we don't just report AI news, we break it first. And next time Elon makes a move, you'll hear it here before the headlines. This is the AI revolution. You're not late, you're early. Stay curious, stay ahead, and I'll see you in the next update.